Hey, what's up, YouTube? And today, we're gonna to be doing some classic clashes. Uh, the reason why I'm doing cast clashes is because uh, I like this game first off, but this isn't gonna be an official series. But this is a tutorial. Probably that's the reason why you click on it. This is how to uh, be AFK and still get a bunch of XP. So it's glitch, but not really a glitch. It's more like an exploit because I'm not doing anything that's gonna corrupt the game. Technically. So the way how you do this is you could do it online. I would prefer online, like you're playing with like somebody. It's better online. I'm just say that because if you're on PS3. If you're playing with a friend that knows that you're doing this glitch, you guys can both do it and get loads of XP. This online is easier if you're trying to do it with somebody. The local is a little bit harder, but it's the same thing except it's a little bit more complicated. I'll just say that. So, uh, uh, crack my neck. So, first thing you're going to need is a person, of course. Um, So, I'm going to need a person. Load this up real quick. Then you're going to need to get the eyeball pet. If you already have it, just go in your pet shop or whatever it's called, pet boat, looks like. And just grab it. You don't need any type of weapons for it, you just have a regular weapon. But you need the eyeball. Now, it could work with any other projectile uh, pet, like a pet that can. Uh, throw or shoot stuff like I tried it with Rami and it didn't work or at least I don't think it worked because I didn't do it the same method that I'm showing you guys now because that method didn't work with Rami so I assume they didn't work with any but now since I think about it it may have worked with him if I did it this way but okay anyway so once we got the eyeball you can get the uh, eyeball from the alien ship level by uh, I guess I'll just show you guys, just in case you don't know. Just play through it, and then the first, yeah, after when you get through the first gate, go to the wall in the back, like to the this, like to the back wall. After when you go through that gate, little laser fence thing and when you're fighting those three dudes just go to that back wall and you'll see like a little hole they just go in the hole to the right and then you'll pick up the eyeball that's how you do it so I just showed you how to get the eyeball next thing you're going to do is be able to play and get to the ship but by the time you get to the ship you already unlocked this so if you already got the eyeball then you already have this unlocked now you're probably if you're doing it with the new character you're gonna have to either play through with the new character or get a character that's already experienced and just skip through uh, the levels and just get straight to this level. However, you wanna do it, it's your choice. Then you just keep playing through this desert level until you get to the first alien ship. I'll just skip right down to that part. Okay, now once we get down to this alien ship, uh, you can do it one of two ways. Now, I'm not sure about the first way. To be honest, I'm really not sure about the first way. But I'm really, really sure about the second way because I got to 47. Like, I was at 43, and about two hours later, I was at 47. Now, it may have been roughly more than two hours, but it works. If you're just trying to be AFK, it works. Now, the first way. Okay, so. Okay. But the first way is to get uh, smashed by the alien ship if you can. Or destroy it. I mean, if it dies off, then it just dies off. But I'll show you with this way. Alright, so. First way is to get smashed by the uh, alien ship. And then the eyeball should shoot its way 
through the thing. It shoots very slowly, so you go out of the wall. So this is the first one. Now, I never tested this one. I'm pretty sure it only worked, but I'm not sure at the same time. Now, the second and most efficient way is... I mean, yeah, yeah, the second and most efficient way is this. You pull out your shield, back up slowly into the side of the walk, and like, go to that corner. And then it won't be able to shoot you, so it won't turn your shield. But then as long as you keep posted in this corner, you should be good. Then just like get a rubber band or something and just tie down the triggers and so and make it so it keeps pushing up against that part. Your game will never cut off. And that's all you do. your game will never cut off. You just stay like this. And eventually, uh, when your dude kills or when your uh, pet kills enough things, uh, you'll get uh, a speed for it. Now, if you want to do a money glitch and a, no, if you want to do a money exploit and a glitch, I mean, and exploit glitch, you're going to need two to three people. If you want a lot of gold, you get three people. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, it's an XP and money uh, So, you're going to need three people if you want a lot more money. And you're going to need two people if you just want, like, moderate, like, three thousand. So what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to um, get three people, of course. Doesn't matter about the weapons, but it does matter about the pets. You're gonna need this green leaf pet. I'm not exactly sure where to get it. I kind of forgot. And you're gonna need the gold well. I'll show you what they look like. So if you have them, you know. A lot of people don't got the green leaf pet or the green frog looking pet, but a lot of people do got the um the golden well so I'll just show you what those look like real quick so, oh, this is what they look like pretty sure you know what the golden pet look like but, or the golden well whatever you want to call it looks like but you probably don't know what this pet looks like see it's like a moose frog looking thing and then you'll need the golden well so and then maybe the eyeball or something else that shoots like this. You can probably use this. I would think that you'll be able to. Or you could use the um, ice dude. I'm not sure if that kills him. I'm pretty sure it freezes him. Or you could use this dude when it shoots ice. So I meant to buy this dude because I always forgot to. So I'm not sure if it works with this ice dude. I'll test them out because I never actually used them in battle. So. I got I got to that part pretty fast. What's the time? Four minutes. All right, so I'll just end it here. So you know what I mean. Something that shoots. I'm not. It, I'm not sure if it can be something that like grabs onto them and munches them or whatever. But as far as I know, it has to shoot. Now you can test it out and see if it works with just regular scratching or hitting animals. But if you want to take the safe route, do something that shoots, preferably the eyeball, because that's the only thing I really tested. Trust me, it will get you XP unless they create a patch or something for this. But it will work. I can tell you that now. So thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and stay shifted. Okay, I kind of forgot a little something. Some, so I forgot Remy, uh, Rammy, my bad, destroys stuff about 75% faster. Like he'll clear out the whole area within... Like, if you're there for a while, he'll clear out the whole area. So if you really want a lot of money, use Rami. The, you need three people, of course, but use Rami, um, the Golden Well, and this green dude. I, I keep forgetting what his name is. 
and that's if you don't want XP but you only want the money but if you want XP you can still do that process except change out Rami for the eyeball or some other shooting a uh, uh, dude or what animal I just figured out that any shooting animal actually um, works and I got out of the uh, what's called glitch thing because as you see I'm at four, oh wait yeah, I'm at 49. I'm pretty sure I was at like 47 last time you guys saw me. So yeah, just remember that if you want to play it back, just so you can remember for money and for XP, just play it back. That's only for specifics. But if you just want XP for everybody, just have them all have the eyeball, and then you're good. Just get in that uh little exploit spot right there, and then you'll be good. So yeah, like I said, thanks for watching. Remember to like, and subscribe, and stay shifted. From the bottom, chase dreams, you know we ain't stopping.